Okay, I'm going to try to describe a little bit of the challenge of fitting these full floating bearings. When I put these two together, notice how tight they are. I mean, they won't even slide up and down inside the rod. I got a rod and a rod vise here, and I'm trying to see if these two will fit. They're really tight in here, so they're obviously not going to float around the bearing. So I deliberately put one of these in here that I knew was sized wrong. So now watch when I put the right one in here. Excuse me while I... So now I got another set here. Now watch this set. This set here, I can just, I can just easily slide that because up and down either side and it floats really nicely. And what I had done is I had to take this, uh, basically this <coughs> hammer over here and I used a piece of uh, just a cardboard on top of the bearing and these bearings were too narrow in the end so basically I gave them a whack on the top to spread them out a little bit and that's what it has enabled these to do this. That and I've used a lot of scotch bright and I have polished all the surfaces so if you look at this bearing these bearings, the outside of these surfaces have been polished with scotch Bright. You can see it here and everything, and so have the inside. So I use very fine scotch Bright, lacquer thinner, and you just keep sizing them and polishing them until you get them to the point where they easily slide around in that rod, because that's what you need. It so happened in this set of bearings that uh, two, two sets were worked out perfect, no adjustments needed. The other two I had to take the hammer to them. If you don't do this though, you will ruin these bearings because they will only, basically they won't float, only one side will be working and that's not what these bearings are about. So that's it.